So we're back over at that uh, Symbio 700 train rooftop unit that went bad after they installed uh, that Emerson E Emerson relay board, essentially, energy management system. Something fried the board. Th th things just don't go bad like that, especially on a four-month-old unit. So what's going on here? What's going on is you can't power that Emerson relay board with the uh, Symbio 700 control. Not only can you do that, is you can't let those relays on the relay Emerson board, which is basically a laser relay board, is you can't let that voltage also go to the... Um, straight to the Symbio 700 control board. It can only handle so much 24 volt control. So the solution to that is install isolation relays, which will, the relays on my Emerson board will power my coil voltage on my isolation relays. And then I will get my switching voltage off of the Symbio 700 control off of R which will then completely separate the voltage, completely separate the transformers, and allow both boards to work independently with their own separate 24 volt control voltage. And that's the solution to that. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Install those isolation relays and get to it. We got a new board. Ice cube relays, isolation relays. You gotta put them in. I already installed the new transformer. Power on the board off the new transformer. And let's start putting these relays in, then we'll change that board. All right, so we got our relays in, our isolation relays. Um, we're coming in off of the Emerson relay board, the EMS system. Coming out of air calls. Fan, heat, cool water, cool tube, coming out of there, hitting our coils of our relays, isolation relays, and then out of um, the board, R is going to power my common, and then out of our normally open, we're going to come and hit Y1, Y2, etc., and then we should be good to go, because that's what fried this board, was the, they were fighting each other. Got everything wired in and taken care of. So basically what's gonna happen is when the energy management system calls for fan, cool, or heat, these relays up here will close and are going to send voltage down to my coils on my relays, which will then close my normally open set of contacts. I got my common from the Symbio controller, which is gonna be my switching voltage, so that the voltage is completely separated. This voltage is getting voltage from a tra separate transformer. This one's getting voltage from a separate transformer. So they're not fighting each other there's no back, uh, basically that's just essentially the simplest way to put it. They're not fighting each other for voltage and that's not gonna fry another $800 board. So like I said, once those relays close, which I got wired to the coil voltage of my isolation relays, my common will close to my normally open, which I have wired in so my thermostat connections, and we'll turn the unit on. And that's it, that's the resolution to, to the problem. So we got it running. That ain't working as it should. So the call for fan came, cooling. My relay's closed. Symbio ain't going blank. So far. And we finally can see it on the EMS board. So, looking good. If you're one of the ones that always make it to the end of the video, much love. And if you're a new watcher, please consider the like, comment, and subscribing. And like I always say, work hard, family first, and tell somebody you love them. Be easy, guys.